Hi guys, it's Max from Highlander.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and start another series, ROM of the Week. I will keep doing some more ROMs on my other channel, but for ROM of the Week, we'll try to feature the best ROM of the Week. Um, so this is going to be my number one. Today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how you can turn your Note 5 into a full Galaxy Note 7. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys, so I have been using this ROM for a few days. This thing is pretty cool. Even always on display is working. Yes, this is like the exact same always on display. Um, you can also customize it just like a real Galaxy Note 7. Now, if you guys actually love the Galaxy Note 7, but you can't use it no longer because Samsung has killed it, um, you can grab the international version of the Galaxy Note 5. This is the SMN920C. Um, you can use it on any GSM network. I'm using it with my T-Mobile right now. 4G LTE works beautifully on AT&T and T-Mobile. You can grab this on eBay for, I think, almost like 450 or something like that. Also on Amazon. I'll have some links that you can check out in the description below. So check it out if you want to grab one of these. All you got to do is install Twerp, install this ROM, and you've got a full-fledged Galaxy Note 7 without the updated processor, without the camera upgrade. But otherwise, software-wise, you get all the features of a Galaxy Note 7. Um, so this is really cool, and my fingerprint sensor works really well. All right, I think it's actually much faster than my Galaxy uh, S7 Edge. And you'll find here you'll be running Android 6.0.1, and this is the Minotaurus ROM. All right, this is a latest version. Um, you will also need to grab the Nemesis kernel if you want to get always on display working you will need that kernel. Now inside display settings, you will be able to change your resolution to 720p, 1080p, 1440p, um, just like Galaxy Note 7. You get uh, always on display here, and you will be able to get different layouts that you want. Let's actually go ahead and change it real quick together. Let's actually check out the simple one here, and we'll go ahead and change the color to green, uh, put a little background, green background, apply, and boom shakalaka. Uh, I really love it. If you want always on display, now it works just fine with the custom kernels. Um, don't forget to donate to the developers of the ROM and kernel. I'll have uh, donate links below. And if you want blue light filter, boom shakalaka. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy lemon easy. Sorry, I think I said it wrong. Lemon peasy easy heasy. <laughs> All right, screw it. We're bad at it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the camera real quick. The camera on the Note 5 is actually really decent. Um, it actually keeps up with a lot of the flagships that's out right now, uh, especially the front camera. It's still one of the best out, out here right now. You get that nice wide angle. You get that nice crispy 1440p video if you want to take videos with the front camera. The front camera still beats like LG V20, Pixel, uh, OnePlus 3T on the Note 5, you know. Uh, the camera's still pretty decent still for the back camera. I mean, it's it's a really decent camera. I could totally use this over the OnePlus 3T, for example. It's way better still, even though this is last year's phone. Um, the run itself is very, very fast. Really like it. Also, you got a bunch of customizations you can do. You see I've got a little troll there helping me. Of course, it does have root Super SU. This ROM also has three different sound controls. Let me go ahead and show you. It comes with sound control. You can use Beats Audio, all right, which allows you to change the bass, treble, all that good stuff. Um, you'll have to actually turn it on to use it, all right? And also, it comes with my favorite Viper for audio. Uh, I'm sorry, Viper for Android. I do have a full tutorial on how to use this. And also, it comes with Dolby Atmos. This isn't really cool. Let me just give you a quick, quick tutorial here. And also, it does come with sound mod. It is really loud. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds for copyright reasons. So, ready. So, that is super loud. All right. So, it is, it is pretty loud. You'll be able to really control uh, the sound really easily. If you want just the mid mids, this is a lot of fun to play with. I really like it. Uh, surround virtual analyzer, volume leveler. All right, a lot of cool stuff with just with sound control. This so this ROM's like feature packed. Of course, you get all the S7 Edge features. You can go ahead and add your shortcuts, uh, all that good stuff, just like a Galaxy Note 7. 
Well, this is a real Galaxy Note 7 ROM. All right, let's say you're reading Korean, you're trying to learn Korean, right? Let's go ahead and try out the translate feature. Translate, y'all. Okay, let's translate. All these languages you can translate. Um, Korean to English and boom shakalaka. All right, and you can even click there. And it will actually even say it for you. This is called chopul, which means candle. And it will say... All right, really good translation tool. And of course you can do more cool things, uh, make GIFs and stuff. I forgot to show you guys some cool feature here real quick. It actually does come with the Note 7 camera also. Um, there are some really cool modes that you can try. Uh, it's got all the pro, panorama, select focus, fast motion, continue shots. There's animated GIF, which is really cool. You can create um, quick GIFs like this. So just go ahead and hold it. And while it's taking, you can just do that. And you can quickly create cool little GIFs. And boom shot. Uh. Yeah, this ROM is really cool. You get all the features of Node 7. I was gonna actually show you um, YouTube GIF making also here. All right, let's go ahead and make a quick GIF together. Do Sumar Select, GIF animation. Move this where you want to. All right, I'm just gonna make my intro into a GIF real quick. Save, it's been saved, go into gallery, and there's my GIF, easy to do. I really like this ROM, also of course you get off screen memos easily, blah 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 blah, save, boom, boom shaka. And always on display, you also notice uh, the video playing and you get notification and all that good stuff. So very good. It's actually not pulsating. Oh, uh, that's my camera shutter rate. It's actually works flawless. All right. There's no reason for you to not be able to enjoy all the new features of the Note 7. Of course, it's not waterproof, but uh, as far as software features go, you'll be able to pretty much enjoy everything of the Note 7. All right. Camera's pretty decent still on the Note 5. I do highly recommend this method, and I've actually been daily driving this and the LG V20. I actually like the flatter screen of the Note 5. It makes it easy to type. The Note 7 is great too, but the flat screen is actually a lot easier to type. So I actually prefer the Note 5. Um, installation is very, very easy. If you're not rooted yet, make sure you install Twerp Recovery in the root tutorial. You don't actually have to root the phone. Install Twerp Recovery. Uh, download the ROM, download the Nemesis kernel, put it in your phone, and let me go and show you how to do it. All right, this ROM also has awesome uh, menus for the power button. You can go straight reboot into recovery. Uh, reboot into recovery if you're using a uh, stock ROM, power off and volume up, center home and power. All right. And boom shakalaka, look at that. It even changes um, your boot up screen to Note 7, which is cool. Um, go ahead and do a wipe factory reset. All right, go to install, go ahead and um, install the ROM first. Uh, install the Minotaurus ROM V10. This is what I installed. It's going to give you a bunch of options. Go ahead and install it and don't reboot. And go back into Twerp and install the kernel, All right? Install the Nemesis kernel. Install that, reboot, and you should be good to go. Now, I forgot to tell you, this ROM is for all the international models of the Note 5. I don't know if it works on the T-Mobile. I haven't tried it yet. Um, so I'll, I'll have all the versions that support it on my site. So check that out. And all the files will be there. But check it out. ROM of the week. You can convert your Note 5 into a Note 7. You can even scare some people at the airport. Show them the boot screen. They'll be like, no, you can't get on the plane. <laughs> if they're that stupid and they don't realize the flat screen is actually a Note 5, you know, they deserve to get trolled. Anyway, have a great day, folks. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you need a Node 7, now there's a way to get it. Have a great day. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.